a last-ditch effort to cling on to power. In this campaign, incumbent President José Mario Vaz calls himself the man of the people, the one that can bring peace and stability to the nation. But his mandate has been anything but stable. After dismissing all eight of his governments since taking office in 2014, he called on the military to step in on his behalf. Days before the election, fear of a military coup still looms. As night falls, hundreds gather to hear him speak. Among the crowd are West African troops from Nigeria and Senegal here as a stabilizing force to keep a close watch on Vaz and his military entourage. Vaz says we have to get to work together to bring an end to the political crisis, accusing foreign powers of wanting to steal the country's wealth, and tells the crowd to be careful with fake news. He then invites us on stage. What was supposed to be a one-on-one -on -one interview is used to galvanize the crowd. Micro. See this journalist? He accuses me of creating instability. I tell you what, you have to be careful with what you say. Listen, I will accept the election results even if I lose. With 20 attempted military coups and dozens of political assassinations, never has there been a peaceful transition of power since Guinea-Bissau's return to democracy 25 years ago. The United States Drugs Enforcement Agency believes Latin American drug traffickers are profiting from the political instability. Senior military commanders in cahoots with elected politicians are using the harbor to facilitate the smuggling of drugs from Latin America through Guinea-Bissau to Europe. During Vasa's time in office, 25 tons of cocaine was seized. Still, his political opponents accuse him of using cocaine money to finance his re-election campaign, an accusation he denies. They say drug money has made it into the campaign. We have to make an effort to end this. Vote for me and starting November 24th, no drugs will enter Guinea-Bissau. José Mario Vaz is about to become the first president of Guinea-Bissau to complete his mandate. But as the campaign comes to a close, he seems even more determined to hold on to power by any means possible for as long as he can. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Bissau.